You are welcome to Dr. Sam's Anatomy Classes. Here we are exploring the intricacies of human body. You know, OSPE is Objective Structured Practical Examination. Right now we are conducting this OSPE on connective tissue fibers. So if you are well versed with the connective tissue and its fibers, you should be prepared to face an MCQ right now. And if not, I'm there to explain you about different types of connective tissue fibers. So be prepared. So you're getting 20 seconds to answer this. Collagen type 3 is present in basement membrane or spleen or vitreous humor or in hyaline cartilage. So the answer is spleen. So the connective tissue fibers are collagen fibers, elastic fibers. And reticular fibers, some books write them separately, but reticular fibers are actually the type of collagen as well. So let me broadly tell you the important characteristics of the collagen fibers or rather I should come keep comparing it with those of the elastic fibers. Collagen fibers are wavy fibers. Elastic fibers are straight fibers. Collagen fibers are striated fibers. They show cross striations. But elastic fibers are smooth fibers. They do not have any striations. They are unstriated fibers. One more important thing is that collagen fibers do not branch. But elastic fibers show branching. Then collagen fibers are arranged in bundles. And the bundles divide, not the fibers. The collagen fiber bundle divides. But here, the elastic fibers, they do not arrange in bundles. They are haphazardly intermingled fibers. Collagen fibers are normally stained with the routine stains like uh, H&E stain, hematoxyl and eosine stains. While the elastic fibers, they need special stains like orsin, resorsin, fustian stains. They need special stains. You, you cannot easily see them with the naked eyes. Then elastic fibers, remember another important feature of elastic fibers is that those fibers are resistant to acid and alkaline also. So the collagen fibers are meant to provide tensile strength, to provide anchorage, to the surrounding structures, to give a shape to the viscera, to prevent the intraorganal structures, collapsing of the structures and various other functions. Let's talk about the types of collagen fibers. Now collagen fibers you will find in different type of connective tissue in the human body. So according to the thickness of the fiber, remember that according to the thickness of the fibers, collagen has been divided into 28 subtypes. So I have like brought in a few of the important collagen fibers which are of relevance out of those 28 types, only like six important types I've mentioned here. So these are, you know, graded from one to seven and in a descending order according to the thickness of the fiber. So the thickest type of collagen fiber is type 1 collagen. So it is the most common of all the collagen types. 90% of the body collagen is type 1. So you get two MCQs. One is most common type 1. Most abundantly pleasant in the body type 1. These fibers show classical cross striations and are of large diameters because cross striations you will not be able to see you know on you know th in, in this fourth fifth sixth level and even beyond the subtypes you will not be able to easily appreciate those cross striations so the cross striations are you know they are basically uh, easily seen in upper three types of fibers one two and three 
so these fibers but the one because the one is the thickest fiber so you can easily see the cross striations because of the large fibers these fibers are found in the dense and loose connective tissue like both these type of connective tissue you find then bone tendon fascia both superficial and deep fascia aponeurosis ligaments skin the dermis of the skin don't forget cornea and the dentine got it so what have you concluded this not only to you know just make you aware of all these facts but to make you learn so remember type 1 that it is meant for the tensile strength mazbuti ke liye milega ye right so wherever you need of more of strength to the tissues you will find this type 1 so examples bone here although they have not mentioned is one cartilage and you know there are three different types of cartilage fibrocartilage elastic cartilage hyaline cartilage elastic cartilage need not mention because they are elastic fibers right and uh, fibrocartilage remember that fibrocartilage is type 1 collagen right dentine cornea skin ligaments ligaments and tendons both aponeurosis of flattened tendons everywhere all the modifications of deep fascia you can include in them they have not included much of enough you can include um, the periosteum you can include the um, inter muscular fascial septa you can include interosseous membranes you can include the joint capsules you can include all thickened uh, you know modifications of the deep fascia you can include the dura mater even. so all these are the examples where you find is type 1 collagen now let's talk about type 2 collagen type 2 it, it consists of thin fibers showing faint cross striations as i told you as the diameter of the fibers will keep decreasing these cross striations will keep on fainting away so you'll not be able to see them easily these types of fibers are found in hyaline cartilage which is of the eye nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc remember nucleus pulposus don't confuse with the you know in the uh, fibrocartilage of the intervertebral discs nucleus pulposus is different it is like a re morphological remnant of the primitive notochord so in nucleus pulposus you will find type 2 and in the rest of the portion of the intervertebral disc that is made up of fibrocartilage they will find is type 1 right fibrocartilage type 1 hyaline cartilage type 2 elastic cartilage you have a separate type of fibers and that's elastic fibers so remember this and in some books you might find that collagen type to have been subdivided type a type b or thin type thick type so if they say collagen uh, type 2 thicker fibers are high you'll find in hyaline cartilage type 2 collagen thin type you'll find in vitreous of the eyes and nucleus pulposus now type 3 collagen these types of collagen form the reticular fibers so remember reticular fibers are not different in type of fibers rather they are subtype 3 of collagen fibers right so now these fibers type 3 collagen fibers they form the, the uh, intra glandular skeleton to maintain the shape of the organ let's say liver is spleen kidney lungs right so all these special and in organs all these organs especially the um, reticuloendothelial tissues there you will find is type 3 collagen and that actually are the reticular fibers so it's present in connective tissue the organ mainly is spleen liver lungs you can include thymus you can include uh, kidney now type 4 collagen this type of collagen forms a meshwork in the basal lamina lamina densa of the epithelium it is also present in k 
kidney glomeruli and lens capsule so with type 4 as you know we are gradually decreasing in the thickness of the diameter of the collagen fibers these will be thinned out fibers so remember an example the most important example is basal lamina of the epithelia is type 4 however you will also find in the glomeruli of the kidneys and in the lens capsule this is very important i believe this was asked in once in your neat pg exam lens capsule also it's type 4 collagen now type 5 collagen it's one important point with this remember that it is present in the placenta and is associated with type 1 collagen so in association with type 1 you will find type 5 in the placenta remember this example this can be an mcq sometime type 7 collagen is present as an anchoring fibrils that attach the basal lamina to the lamina reticularis so you know that the basal lamina into which you that was being formed by type 4 collagen and this basal lamina also needs like you know anchoring fibrils to attach it down to the lamina reticularis so for that anchoring fibrils are made up of type 7 collagen remember this so type 1 2 and 3 collagen fibers can be seen with light microscope as i told you they can easily be stained with h and e hematoxylin and eosine stain the routine stains while elastic fibers you need special stains or sin resource in first cells so while remaining type of collagen fibers are detectable only by the use of specific antibodies so if you want to see all of them that's various subtypes of collagen you need to tag them with special antibodies then only they can be visualized okay